Hey everyone, and welcome to part three of my coloring supply collection. This is going to be my gel pens and miscellaneous stuff. So I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to link down below um, everything that I can find. Um, if I can't find it, you can probably do a quick search on either Amazon or in your local stores for it. I know some can be found at Walmart, stuff like that. But I'll try to link it down below if I can. So this is my gel pens and miscellaneous stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this big thing out of the way because I can like set it over on the bed. Uh, and these are um, chopping mats or these are stencil sheets that you can cut up and put in the back of your coloring book page so you can don't have to transfer or stuff like that. I want to show that, but I can like set it over my bed then. So gel pens, I'm gonna actually set this over here. Okay. I have the Colorets. Uh, this is the, I think, is it 92 set or 96 set of glitters and calyx neons. It comes with this nice set here. The one that's different is the black one because I used all that up. It comes with this nice little zipper travel case and the nice glittery one. I wish both of them were like that. So then you have this one here, just a normal one. And this has the rest of the glitters, the metallics, and the neons. Okay, what is this one? Oh, these are the Scriblishes ones. This is what the brand is. You can get these over in the UK. I don't think you can actually get these in the um in the US. So this is just the scriblish ones and I have a whole bunch in here with the blacks as well and silvers. And then I have these ones in here which nope wrong ones. Where are they? There we go. Nope, which one is it? There we go. Which I forget the names of these ones as well. So these ones I keep by my bed for when I'm coloring. So I can get them all back in my container now without it overflowing. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna just toss this over onto the bed because that's where they go. This one here is my collection of my favorite color gel pen to use my pictures, which is black. <laughs> it's literally all Sergeant Art Black glitter gel pens. One color, $7 on Amazon for 25 of them. And they work really good for Sergeant Art, which is like a budget-friendly brand. These ones here are my Pentels. So I have my Pentel Dual Metallics, my Pentel Milky Pops, and the last little remaining bits of my Pentel Sparkle Pop silver is almost all gone. And then in this little bag here, I have some spares. So when the other ones run out, I'll put them into the bag. Okay, and here I have this on my desk, which is just my have an extra Sharpie just in case I need to write something with a Sharpie. These are ink pens, the rollerball ink pens you can get at the Dollar Tree. Um, they work really good, just don't use them on double-sided pictures because it will bleed through. Just write a writing pencil. These are the Papermate, Papermate Inkjoy pens. You never know where you're going to need a nice colorful pen to write with. Uh, scissors. This is a scribblish uh, gel pen, but so I can get it without spilling. The little ball thing in there actually fell out. So I just have it in there. My Poscas, which I need to get some new ones soon because these are almost gone. And then a letter opener. Then I start getting into my, uh, these are some black plain gel pens. These are just the regular gel pens, no, um, glare to it. Then my fine liners, they're shuttle art fine liners. I have the 100 set. 
these are the one of the best fine liners I have ever used um, in my coloring and I really really love that set and then I have just some extra refills this was my black one I killed in the colorettes and then this is I think glitter slate um but for some reason it stopped wanting to come out so I had to refill it with this, um the tin and then I have an extra black rose art marker and I just have my these are the shuttle arts more and the purple and pinks and blues and greens yellow reds and oranges so I have them all in dedicated tins like that kind of slide them over to there there we go okay and then in here is my bag of gel pens I ran out of room for. So I put them in here when I moved. And these are my Scriblisher, yeah, Scriblish Right Dude, Scriblisher Right Dudes Glitter Gel Pens, Metallic Gel Pens. I love these pens. They are amazing. Um, they have such a, a really, really good shine to them. There's neon ones. And then they are metallic ones but I can show you. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can find glitter. There we go. Let's see if I can get it to go. Let's go ahead. Okay, let's see. Let's grab another one here. This one I think is almost dried up. Yeah, that one's almost dried up. Let me just go ahead and Toss over there if I can get rid of it. Let's see. Oh, there's an ink join there. I'll just go ahead and shove it over there. Let's see. There we go. There's the blue. I have two sets of them, so. There we go. That's the blue. So there's the glitter to it. Have a nice glittery shine to them. I have some Sugar Rush scented more eye eye gel pens in here, and they actually do smell really good. Um, so that's really a good thing. They actually smell. I think that's it. Yeah, this is just a big bag of Scriblish. These are my one of my favorite gel pens. I haven't been reaching for them as much since I got the colorants, but they are a really, really good gel pen. Then over here I have a heat gun. This comes in handy when you're using water, um, like watercolors, um, acrylic paints, just to dry it down. You just plug it in, flip this on, you hold it. I would say about like that far away from the paint, I like from there to there, um, about a good maybe foot or two, foot foot and a half away from your page because it does get very 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 hot. So make sure you do not touch this part because I was dumb when I first got it. It says right in here, nozzle may be hot. I was like, it can't be that hot. Pfft. It it gets hot, you know, so just it gets hot. <laughs> but it works really, really good. And it, um, if you don't leave it on for too long and your paper, if you leave it on your paper for too long, you can burn your paper. But um, you just kind of move quickly. And I have in this little glass here, I have some of my um, pencil extenders. These are for colored pencils. You just put them in there and you can extend it so that way you're not trying to like hurt your hand. I have some acrylic paint brushes. I can't find them. Is there any with the names on there yet? These are Royal and Lang Nickel. You can get them at the dollar, or not dollar, you can get them at Walmart. I think it was $5 for a 10 pack. Um, I got these as well as also Royal and Lang Nickel, but these are not very good ones. Um, these are, it says they're multi-purpose ones, but they don't work good with acrylic paints. So they work good with uh, watercoloring stuff, but then I have um, some water brushes. These are, this one here, I forget the name of it. And then this one here, I also forget the name of them, but they are water brushes. And actually I have two of them in there with the water in there. Ready to go. And then I just have an X-Acto knife because you never know when you're going to have to, you know, cut something off, off out of your book. And let's see. 
I have, of course, one of my staples in my coloring, which is my stickles. In these really nice stickle containers, which means I need to get five more stickles to fill it up. Um, but yeah, this one here is one of my favorites, which is sunflower. Really, really good um, gold, if you're like a goldish color. And where is it? This one, no, no. Uh, which one was it? This one. Yep, confetti or cosmic. This is a really, really nice um, kind of blue. With, um, is it like it's yeah, like a purplish blue with like confetti esque um, reflex in it. Like this one has like confetti. It's almost like a tinsel, like what you see like Christmas tinsels. But yeah. No coloring collection is complete for me without my stickles. Go ahead and put these lids back on. Then over here we have, these are little um, palettes. Actually, I get more because this is my last one. I get them at the Dollar Tree. You get 12, I think, in there for a dollar or six for a dollar. Six or ten or something like that, twelve or in a dollar. And then I have this Karen Dosh um, palette. It's nice and smooth on this side, and this side has a little texture to it. And then I have my Neo Color Twos. It was actually funny is the person that sent me these actually sent one, and they came wrapped up like this in like very like tight wrapped things. I think the person whoever put them in a box didn't um, open it up and just kind of shoved it in the box. And I got three, so I have want to use an extra one and then i keep this one just in case my mom ever wants to get into watercoloring she can have a set of them because she likes to color but she i don't think she uh, she says that she doesn't have the courage yet to do any kind of water and color uh, watercoloring or painting and then in my nice big huge beach bag here got this at walmart i think it was nine dollars is all of my paints i have these pearlescent paints, which I have recently used in my um, Spirit Animals uh, Color Along by Hannah Carlson at the end of this, uh, at the beginning of this month. They are very nice pearlescent watercolors. They are very um, sheer, but they work really, really good and you can color with pencil on top of them. We have the um, Fine Tech ones here and these are the pearlescents these are colors to them they just take this and they just flip it like that so like that one is blue per eye the blue pearl and that one or that one's the blue pearl that one's the silver i think yeah blue i uh, blue silver so blue pearl is that one and these work really really good but the best way to use them is to if you're not going to put like a sheer thing to them put a little water in there let it sit for maybe 30 40 seconds and then use your paintbrush which actually you like to use this one right here you just kind of let it, once it's done you get nice and wet you just kind of take this in there and kind of go like that and you can get a nice um opaque um shine to your page then i have the same fine tech ones but the gold set this is one of my favorites to use my I, I need a nice gold accent i love this one here which is arabic gold and if you wonder how you did this this it, this is part of the box, so I just cut the names off and then super glued them down. But I love the Arabic gold, the Indica gold, and this Moon gold is a really nice kind of pale gold color to put on your paper or your not your paper, your, your um, coloring page. Then we have the Prima Classics, nice watercolor that you see. I have well used this. This is actually came in one of my very my very first, not one of my, my actually my very first half meal package. And I love this. And you actually pull out there is more space underneath here if you need some more. But I really like using these. And you can get like nice little hand holding things. You slip your finger in there. It just sits nicely in your hands. So that's the colors in there as well for swatching. And I think there is other sets of these ones, but um, I've had this now for over, a, I think a year now, actually, I think. And I haven't hit pan on any of these and I use this a lot, so. Then in here, I'm gonna drink. I 
is all of my acrylic paints. These are Apple Barrel. I cannot find these on Amazon. Well, I can, but if you have a Walmart, go get there. They're only 50 cents for the two floored ounces. I have a lot of colors. Then I have the Folk Art um, Metallics. These are, I think, $1.30 each. Don't bother with gold. This one's really horrible. It's really, like, streaky. The best one here is this Antique Copper, which, funny enough, I have a book with the same name, a number on it, but um, it's 666E anti copper and it's one of my favorite colors and it's one book that I don't really establish myself with anymore because it has a lot of um when I was writing it I have I had a lot of emotions to get out so I have extras in here of pavement and jet black because these are my go-to colors I actually have so I have three pavements and then I have just the extra jet black which there's one that fell on the floor. I didn't feel like reaching for it when I got everything out because I just didn't. <laughs> okay. That is it. Yep, that is all my coloring supplies. I have officially done it in three parts. So like I said, I'll try to link everything down below that I can find. Um here i'm gonna be this is pre-filling a little bit so that's it for tonight i hope you all enjoyed this video and until next time i hope you all have an amazing day and happy coloring